Hello everyone and welcome to this episode. In this video, I will walk you through five AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms and we'll see some of their use cases as well. So let's get started with the first algorithm, SageMaker Linear Learner. Linear Learner is a supervised machine learning algorithm in SageMaker that is used to fit a line to the training data. Linear Learner could be used for both classification and regression tasks. Regression tasks are characterized by having a continuous numeric values as an output. Classification problems on the other side have either binary outputs or multi-class outputs. Linear learner algorithm could be used to predict continuous outputs, such as employee salary, for example. It could also be used to perform classification tasks, such as predicting whether a patient has a diabetes or not. The second algorithm is XGBoost. XGBoost, or Extreme Gradient Boosting Algorithm, is one of the most famous and powerful algorithms in SageMaker to perform both regression and classification. XGBoost is a supervised machine learning algorithm and implements gradient boosted trees algorithm. The algorithm works by combining an ensemble of predictions from several weak models. Recently, XGBoost is the go-to algorithm for most developers and has won several Kaggle competitions. So why does XGBoost work that well? Since the technique is an ensemble algorithm, it's very robust and could work well with several data types and complex distributions. Also, XGBoost offers many tunable hyperparameters that could improve model fitting and performance. The algorithm could be used for classification, such as predict whether a credit card transaction is fraudulent or not. It could also be used to perform regression to predict sales or demand, for example. The third algorithm is Principal Component Analysis, or PCA for short. PCA is an unsupervised machine learning algorithm that is used for dimensionality reduction. The algorithm work by mapping the original features to fewer number of components while preserving the original information contained in the data. In Amazon SageMaker, PCA operates in two modes, regular mode, and in regular mode, it works well with sparse data and a small to medium sized data set, and randomized mode, in which the algorithm works well for a large data set with many features. So let's take a look at some of the applications. PCA can be used for dimensionality reduction applications, such as image compression, for example. PCA could also be used to spot patterns in high dimensional data sets, such as analyzing large bank customer data. And the fourth algorithm is Deep AR. Amazon SageMaker Deep AR is a one dimensional time series forecasting algorithm that works in supervised fashion and uses recurrent neural networks under the hood. One key feature of Deep AR is the ability to train a single time series forecasting model based on several time series. Deep AR can work well in challenging problems, such as when companies are introducing a totally new product to the market. When these products don't have any history, this type of problem, we call it a cold start problem. And Deep AR performs very, very well in these type of problems. Deep AR algorithm could be leveraged to predict future sales so retailers can stock their products accordingly and plan accordingly. Deep AR could be used to generate point forecast. For example, it can predict that the number of products to be sold next month is 100,000. It could also be used to generate probabilistic forecast. For example, it can predict that the number of products to be sold next month, for example, is between 30,000 and 100,000 with 85% probability. And the last algorithm is known as SageMaker Image Classification. Image Classification Algorithm is a supervised machine learning algorithm that can classify multi-class images. SageMaker Image Classification Algorithm uses convolutional neural networks under the hood, and specifically, it uses what we call a ResNet network to perform classification. The network could be trained from scratch or starting from a pre-trained network using what we call it transfer learning. The algorithm does not specify the location of the object in the image though. So there is no bounding boxes generated. SageMaker image classification algorithm 
can be used for self-driving cars, for example, to take in an image as an input and generate the label corresponding to that image, such as stop sign, deer crossing, or yield, for example. And that's all what I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful and informative. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe for more videos. And see you next week.